Do you have the munchies? Because Insatiable Hunger is a good fit for you. Red green, uh, probably a beastly deck. Set loose a horde of civilization stomping creatures against your enemies. Force your opponents to pay tribute and choose either to help you or really help you. <laughs> oh my god, I got wrecked by this uh, Nessian Wilds Ravager. A guy that 4 0 basically just played red green monsters, like uh, at pre release, he just basically played. Um, Ill-Tempered Cyclopses, Nemesis Morals, or whatever. So we've got our two Born of the Gods booster packs, as well as how to navigate this deck and how to play Magic in general. But it comes in as a 6-6, six, six, or and, kill, and basically kills one of your creatures, or it comes in as a 12-12. It would be nice if my only creature on the battlefield was like a uh, Baleful Eidolon or something with a Sedge Scorpion, and I could make it fight my Sedge Scorpion and it just dies. But that's not normally going to be the case. Reckless Reveler, 2-1. Um, to destroy an artifact, you can sack it, I guess. Voyaging Seder, again, uh, if you want to improve, you could probably have three or four of them in, the, in this deck. And that's a common. You should be able to get it very cheap. Swordwise Centaur, very good. 2-2 two, two for a 3-2, although Colonian Tuskers, strictly better. Opaline Unicorn for ramp and fixing. Nessian Corsair, it's fine. Again, Seder Piper. Fanatic of Xenagos. I like this card. Some people think it will see some standard play um, because it's uh, it can be a 4-4 four, four for 3. So um, scooping up a couple more of these would be strictly better than like the Nessian Corsair. So there's a solid upgrade opportunity there for you. Cetacean Starbreaker. Very good art in this set, by the way. Cyclops of One-Eyed Pass. I don't love this card. Um, if it was Trample, you know, but I actually like Ill-Tempered Cyclops better, a 3-3 for 4 that can go monstrous and be 6-6, six, six, but it also has Trample. Uh, Farragut Giant is actually really good. The Tribute's uh, very solid. Snake of Golden Grove, Nessian, Damalak. Thunder Brute, 6 for a 5-5 five, five Trample, but it has Tribute 3. Um, if they don't pay the Tribute, um, it gains Haste. So it's either a 5-5 five, five Haste or an 8-8 eight, eight without Haste. So that's nice. Oh, a Miscutter Hydra comes in here. That's pretty good. Um, Blue Hate, very solid rare. I like this deck, actually. If you if you like just playing creatures and turning them sideways, this is a pretty good deck for that. You might want some Lightning Strikes in here. I don't know what's in. Messenger Speed, that sucks. Get it, At least play Dragon Mantle or something like that if you're going to play something like that. Fall the Hammer is very good. You could probably play two or three of them. Uh, because, I mean, it'd be nice if it was player or creature, but... You know, Lightning Strike, there's only two of them. Again, common, so maybe instead of playing these two, you could play four Lightning Strikes. Mortals Reserve, again, it's I like the fact that it's indestructible. I don't care that it gets a 1-1 token as much. Ordeal of Nylia, so two of those, going to four of that would be just fine. Searing Blood, again, just one of those. I think uh, more than one is better. Destructible Revel Destructive Revelry, which is actually safe to mainboard in this block. Uh, Pinnacle of Rage and Mischief and Mayhem. This is pretty solid. Uh, might just be because it's the last one I'm going through, but uh, very solid deck. We had no, we have had no like crazy pulls, no Kioras, no. We've now opened ten packs and they've all been pretty poopy. So maybe this one will be uh, less fecally. Archetype of Endurance, Reap What is Sown. This is a very good card. Very, 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 very good card uh, In with Heroic. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Grave Robber Spider. I'm sure someone will try to play slides in with that. And a rare is Whelming Rave. Wave, return all creatures to their owner's hands. And a foil, uh, Exercate. Excurate. Always have to think about that twice. I predict our rare in this pack will be one of the featured game day promos from one of the other sets. But that's what's nice about these decks. You get a couple packs, like you could play, here, so here's another Swordwise Centaur right here. You could plug this right into that deck, you know? Actually, Mortals Resolve's right in that deck too. Unravel the Aether is good. All right. Lightning Volley, you could play it in that deck too. Siren of Silent Song and a rare. 
Felhide Spirit Binder. 3-4 with Inspired, meaning whenever it becomes untapped, you may pay 2. If you do, put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of another target creature, except it's an enchantment in addition to its other types. Um, it gains haste. Exile it at the beginning of next step. Next end step. That's pretty legit. And this will go right in this deck perfectly fine. An island and an elemental token. So I hope that, uh, depending on what order you're watching these in, that you catch the whole series of all the Born of the Gods intro decks. I hope that it helps you uh, making your potential purchasing decisions. And if you're new to the channel, I hope that you take a second to subscribe so you can get notified every time I upload new videos. And if you like this video, please take a second to crush that thumbs up button below and it really helps spur me on. It helps grow the channel and, you know, quite frankly, I just really, really appreciate it. So thanks uh, for watching this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG Vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.